Hi everyone, we've just got in lots of brand new shimmer chain colours. They're all 30% off at the moment, so I thought I'd also do a fantastic little tutorial to show you exactly how to use it all. So first off, I'm going to show you the difference between shimmer ball chain and shimmer link chain. They're both made of brass. The ball chain gives you a really soft, subtle shimmer, and then the link chain gives you a much brighter, bold shimmer that you'll see from a distance. Here's a sample shimmer ball chain bracelet. And here's a sample of a shimmer link chain bracelet. As you can see, the ball chain gives you that subtle shimmer, and then the link chain gives you a really bright, vibrant shimmer. So now I'll show you all the different findings that we're gonna use. For the shimmer ball chain, we use one of these teeny tiny little fellas here called side calottes. They're basically two little cups side by side. You take the last ball of the shimmer chain, it pops into the cup, and then basically all you're gonna do is take your pliers and you fold it over. Next, you've got just standard jump rings. Those will link all of your side calottes together so that you can use them in your bracelets, your necklaces, whatever it is that you want to do. And then finally, a little lobster clasp so that you can clasp them onto each other and finish everything off. So here I've got a piece of the shimmer ball chain. How you use it, it's really simple and easy. Essentially, you just take a piece that you want, you measure it out to the length that you want. A good way to do this is either with a tape measure or just wrap it around the person's wrist, whatever's easier. You take a standard pair of cutters and you just bring it in here at the bottom at the point that you want to cut and you just give it a little snip and that cuts it just there as you can see. So now if I take one of my little side calotte friends here. You just pop that at the very end. If it's laying on the table, it's not going anywhere, it's not moving, your shaky hands aren't gonna make it disappear everywhere. It's much, much easier to work with. So you just take the last little end of your chain, hold it just like that, and if you drop it in carefully, you'll see because the ball and the cup are about the same size, it wants to drop in really easily. So it makes it quite simple to use. So once you've got it inside your cup, all you've got to do now is just take your pair of pliers, you come in and just gently give it a squeeze, all of it just laying on the table so it's not moving, and that's it. So as you can see just here, at the end of your side calotte, there's a teeny tiny little hole. All we're going to do is take a standard jump ring, thread it through there, and it's good to go. So I've got a standard jump ring here. I'm going to just take my pliers, open it up. My little side calotte here will just thread straight on there like that. Take your pliers and just close it back up. So here you can see I've successfully attached my little side calotte onto my jump ring. Now to do the other end. So now I'm gonna finish off my other side. I'll just take my shimmer link chain, drop it into my side calotte there. Just bring in my pliers, very gently give it a squeeze, like so. Open up my jump ring. this. Thread on the other side of my side calotte. The lobster. And then close it back up. And as you can see, I've completed a full single strand shimmer chain bracelet. Now obviously, you might want to make more than just one strand, which it's quite simple. You just repeat the same process multiple times uh, until you've got as many strands as you want. Five, six, seven look really nice. You can mix and match your colors together, ones that work well 
like skin tone sort of colors go really nicely together especially when you've got them on you can see the colors look really lovely i find that putting a dark one and a light one together gives it a really nice pop the dark ones tend to have a brighter shimmer and the light ones just sort of tone down all the color and make it a bit more daytime but also usable for nighttime as well another good tip is just make sure you don't throw away your offcuts. As you can see here, I just used all my little ends and attached them onto a jump ring and made a lovely little earring. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit of shimmer link chain just because the two work really well together. So all you've gotta do now, which clearly it's better if you do it at the beginning, Open all your jump rings, thread all the things you want onto it at one time, and then close it up. But it's easy if I just show you it now. So I'll take my little, the final last link of my link chain, just there. And as you can see, there's a little hole. It's perfect size for just threading straight onto a jump ring. There you go. So now I'll just close that up. I find that if I measure it completely accurately at the very end, it fits better. So I go, okay, I need it to be about this length. I'll bring in my cutters. I'll cut this little link just here. And then once that's come apart, you just open up your jump ring same as before. So I'll thread on the other side of my link chain, same way as I did the first one, then close that jump ring back up, and now I have a very quick and simply made two strand shimmer chain bracelet. Another fun way to use your shimmer chain is making a graduated size necklace like this one here. What I've done is I've used two different colors of chain, I've used four different strands of each, and each one is just an inch longer than the one before. So essentially all you've got to do is attach them to the clasp in the right order so that you've got the smallest one on the inside and then the next largest and the next until the biggest one is on the outside. You continue it around and then again on the other side, you make sure it connects the smallest one to the inside until you get to the largest one on the outside. Some other fun ideas as well, again with those little offcut bits, is if you attach a little jump ring at the bottom of your necklace, you can bring the two sides in together to a point like this, and then you can have a nice fun little tassel with all your little leftover offcuts at the bottom as well, which makes a fantastic feature. Uh, you can do them as long necklaces, you can do them short. It's really versatile stuff, but what's fa most fantastic about it is how inexpensive the projects are. So a standard bracelet, for example, is only maybe about a pound to a pound fifties worth of materials, depending on how many strings you do. This little earring, including the findings and everything, probably somewhere about seven to 10 P. So as you can see, you can make these really fantastic, inexpensive gifts for people. It goes quite a long way because the packets come with two meters. And just as you can see, a little bracelet, you only use about 20 centimeters or so. So, a few strands of that, you'll get at least a few bracelets out of the one packet. And being 30% off, it's an extra special time to get it, especially with Mother's Day around the corner. So thanks for watching that little tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your comments on it, what you thought, how I could improve for next time maybe, what you wanna see. Thanks for watching, bye.